so it's been a busy few weeks we've been cutting hay trying to get the hay off the ground uh got hay up now we're just moving hay out of the field we're actually not too far away from starting some of the fields over again because the the grass is almost there things are looking pretty good we're keeping we're moving hay right now and uh getting the hay out of the fields
So far as this LS tractor has done so far, it's done pretty good on this stuff. I cut, I raked, I bailed with this tractor. And we're also loading with it. Uh, I, you know, I didn't have two tractors to work with. I just worked with this one tractor on everything. I have, I have other tractors, but it's not, not uh, the ones that I, I use this for everything. I wanted this to be seen that the, the tractor was able to handle anything I put in front of it, and it was able to do that. That is part of, told you we'd be doing a review on this tractor, and this is part of that review. It gives you an opportunity to see this tractor in motion. It gives you an opportunity to see that the LS MT573 is knocking the, is getting the jobs done. Um, I know that it's not perfect sometimes, and every, it's a small tractor. Dude, it's, it's, this tractor is a 73 horsepower tractor. This is not a huge tractor. I mean, running a baler with it uh, is, is a big job for some of these tractors. Although we are running a four x five baler, a four x six baler, and it's an older Heston, but it's getting the job done. As you can see, it has no issues loading this hay up. This hay is somewhere around a thousand pounds of bale, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't really know exactly. This trailer, this particular trailer right here, holds about 18 bales. And if you figure that up, we're, we're pulling 18,000 pounds on this trailer. Uh, it is wide, it covers a lot of area. These are five and a half foot bales. They're four foot wide, five and a half foot bales. We don't go six foot. All right, I thought I'd take a moment, show you how this trailer works. It's kind of ingenious how they how they made this trailer work. It's a pretty simple design, easy easy uh, use on this trailer. If you'll look back up in here, what you're gonna see is this, that this is a jack, okay? And there's four sections that look like this. They have these, they have this little uh, piece of metal that comes out here. This is a solid steel, it looks like about an inch and a quarter or so shaft that comes out. And then it has this slot right here that it comes in well they what they do is they take this jack which is probably about a i'm not sure exactly how many pounds this particular jack is and what they do with it is they attach it to here and then if you look right down the middle of this thing you're going to see that there's a bar that runs down the middle well it attaches in four different locations a total of eight one on each side now, these are balanced these are balanced really well and i'll show you how that works here in just a moment we're going to drop this hay off and then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to reset the thing. Uh, but it's not that big a deal. It's not that hard. It's pretty cool setup. Pretty simple setup. Uh, really ingenious to the person that actually built the trailer and, and that's come up with this design. Well, let me get this unloaded and then we'll show you more. So here's the deal. You have all these little slots right here. And those will catch these. And that's what holds this up straight. Now these are well balanced, really, they are. They're not that heavy to lift. And you can see as we walk down this trailer that there are four of these sections that look like this. Okay, four sections. You can also see they use a spring load here to kind of help, help the balance on it. There's two sets of springs in it. So there's four sections here. You see that? So let's go back to the back of the trailer. Let's, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this thing. And that way you can see how light and how easy this is to do. So you, again, there's springs. You can see Jason just picked that up. Not a whole lot to it. He's gonna grab this side. It's not that heavy. I mean, it looks heavy, but it's not. It's because of the counterbalance. And then you'll jack this jack the opposite direction. And you can see how that it's coming into play here. It's closing down on it so that the, the hay rack cannot fold or fall over while you're in travel. Like I said, pretty genius design. Simple, effective, and it gets the job done. Tractor's doing a great job, great job, and I can't complain. I mean, we're it's able to get this job done and knock this out of the ballpark. So there's just a quick synopsis of, of what I think about the LS so far. It's done a great job. 
other than that broken window in the back uh, we have the plexiglass on there right now we're waiting on a new window to come in we're going to cover that later not today we're going to cover that later we'll talk about that how the ordering process went we'll talk about how long it takes to get the the window we'll even cover a little bit about how much it cost so stay with us for that that's coming up in not too far off the future we have a whole lot of things planned a little slow about getting the videos out but we have a whole lot planned so stick with us and we appreciate all of you until we until next time though thanks Thank <laughs> you.